Plaintiffs Chris Hitchcock and his business partner James Polotsky own a salon together and the defendant work for them. James claims after a falling out, the defendant started spreading rumors about them and their salon. So they're suing for defamation and breach of contract. Defendant Josie Boyd says James has a bad reputation in the industry. And while working for the plaintiffs, Chris was having an affair with one of the stylists and hiring prostitutes on the side. She's countersuing for defamation and unpaid bonuses. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you all. Chris and I both come from different salons, and as time had gone on, we decided to merge our salons together. Uh, that action was to hopefully improve both of our situations and kind of really move forward in a good business. One of the first order of operations when I came in was to help organize and look at state board sanitation. Um, that was one of the biggest problems that the salon was having in general. Um, I had noticed several infractions that Ms. Josie had, hadn't taken care of, and I approached those first off. Um, there was some cleanliness issues, uh, and then there was also a, a major issue with a uh, unlicensed uh, as, uh, assistant that she had working with her. So you calling the woman a nasty fraud? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I would absolutely call her a fraud. Oh. And you saying she's nasty too? Well, she does definitely speak uh, very ill of me in no, I'm several. I'm talking documents. about cleanliness. Oh no, yes, uh, she was very unclean. That means nasty. Very clean, very unclean. There was several <laughs> situations. Say it like it oh, is. Lord. She's nasty. Uh -uh. Oh, she's not. <laughs> no. Go ahead. Uh -uh. The aspect that was going on was I confronted her with this particular technician and the, I noticed the license immediately and I approached her with that. She argued with me stating that it was okay. You and ripped up okay her license. You ripped it up into I little pieces. I ripped a photocopy of the school license. A technician was, is he not just said she allowed wasn't right? to work in a salon in How did any you all way. resolve that issue? Um, I just simply said she's not allowed in the okay, salon, and, it was over? and we threw the license away. Okay, so after that was he over. ripped it up in the shreds. All right, and uh, what was the breakdown in the relationship here? From that point, she started to be very nasty to me. Uh, started spreading a lot of rumors about me and my former salon and my stylist that were absolutely untrue. Eventually, started to uh, create a mutiny and decided to convince other people that uh, to leave. She ended up leaving in the middle of the night. How like so? A thief. What was she saying to them? Uh, she was uh, spreading rumors about the fact that we were changing contracts and okay. that we were, we were um, changing the things in the salon. And okay. in fact, that is not what our intention was going to okay. do. They didn't come up to you and ask to verify it? These no. fellow, uh, are these employees or independent contractors? Independent contractors. Okay. Let me hear from you. Give me some background. Okay. So I decided to come on in September of 2016. After a few months, it was painfully obvious that Chris did not know how to run a salon. He's never been in this industry. Uh, Jan is was the acting manager at that time. Um, James, he was the last two and a half weeks of my employment he came to this salon. So anyways, I've never had a state board violation. I was actually very clean. Um, really, there wasn't one really huge issue. There was rental increases here and there and blah, 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 um, until he hired this one girl. And um, it was a horrible disturbance in the salon. She would drink at the salon, which is stated in the, the contract that you cannot drink, you cannot do drugs. He was actually having an affair with her. Um, and we, we as a staff... <laughs> How do you as, know all that? Oh, oh, I, got, I have proof of everything that is coming out of my mouth. And all right? of that unfair everything. speculation and absolutely not true. I actually have proof. So anyways, um, and so we had to call a, a, a meeting. The salon staff stylist actually had to call a meeting. Um, and it wasn't until in that meeting that actually I told, I informed Chris that this stylist that he was having an affair with was showing proof that he was hiring prostitutes for sex and sexual favors. And I said, he's... Why would his own woman want to show others that her man buys Because she was, I feel like she was trying to use him, just as James has, has used him. And um, so she was exposing, now, she was Honor, talking, I'm still going. In this particular meeting, I was present. All right. And, and that, so you were there when you, you heard that, that Chris admitted to hiring prostitutes and that he was having... An, he uh, never admitted to... There was no prostitutes involved that is in that actually conversation. A, that's a lie. Anyways, um, when there was whispers about James coming in and merging into our salon, 
that caused a lot of issues. One, because he has a horrible reputation in this industry. Is that he is known. Yes, he is known that is for. That is absolutely not true. I, do uh, I actually have written statements from fair. his previous employees. James actually has had three other salons, all which have been closed down. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, which when is there a lie, was, and that's not true. All right, let's so, move forward. So, anyways, when James, when there was talk of James coming in the salon, people started to panic because he doesn't have a good reputation in this in this industry. He's also known talking about rules and regulations. State board um, shutting down your previous salon to host swinger parties and having your stylist go in there when there's. And use you know, when well, you're getting all this no, no, nonsense. No, no, I have from. a statement. I have statements from, from, who? from his previous employees. These I are promise. The, these are the things that are Sir, making up about me. No, no, no. This is on his public Facebook. What is that? This is this costume is his... contests. No, fetish parties. This is what. This is the reputation <laughs> that you parties. put out. Fetish parties. Literally, during during working business hours, he made out with one of his stylists in front of the salon. Which is and next that's to in front of the salon. Like it's in front of the parties, salon and next to you, a frozen yogurt family goodbye. place. I did not want to be associated with that. My clients were complaining. His stylists were wearing see-through clothing. Fetish ball is about to start. Right, and see, doesn't that look like a demon? I can't wait to be a I'm part sorry. of the show. I did not want to be associated with that. He has a bad reputation. I have many witness witness statements from his former employees. I've got a stack of them. I did not want to be associated with that. And you know what? I didn't force any stylist to leave. There was something as everyone was independently complaining. And you left why again? Because okay, of, I'm going to give you a few reasons. Yeah. First of all, it was a hostile, uncomfortable, unprofessional environment. How? He would wear the same clothes every single day. His stylist would wear see-through clothing. So if he had changed clothes every he day, it would have been all right? He pulled himself it in between have been the legs of a stylist at the front desk. Mm -hmm. That was unwarranted, unwanted. She didn't get up and leave or She She complain? was so taken back like how okay. I was the first time. And she got a job. She immediately came No, but she me. came back to work. Though. Absolutely. And well, you that's know, my one point of, I'm making. One of the talk is so fast. Sorry. And listen. <laughs> what happened? Um, to so call what breach? So our contract is a lease rent. Um, she left two months before that contract was up. You have those months written down? So I do. I don't have to write them down and look. Thanks. And what's the uh, defamation and emotional distress? The defamation is how she uh, was badmouthing us on Facebook, saying that we were stealing her clients and uh, trying to say that my reputation was uh, bad and that a warning to other stylists that we do bad business ethics in this post on a professional form where we would potentially get uh, new stylists. Ma'am, let me hear from you on the uh, defamation, on the rent, and on the emotional distress. Okay, I do not owe the rent for two reasons. One, before I even signed a contract with Chris, mm -hmm. I actually had a meeting with Jan. She was the acting manager, and I actually said I did not want to sign that contract because a salon that but I had... But, I, yes, I did. All right, but well, after that's all. Verbal you agreement, signed the contract. What defense do you have? I actually, if he has did a copy of my contract... Did he defraud you? Were you defrauded yes. into yes. signing the contract? Yes, I was, sir. Okay, how? Okay, I actually made changes to the contract before I signed it. And did it. he sign the change? Yes, he did. All right, so what is it about the contract that you don't have to obey? He signed them. What is wrong with He breached with the contract. How? Okay, so it says in the contract not to increase the rent during a one-year period. did he? Four times. Okay. Did you do that? No, we did not. Uh, we have proof that they did? Yes, sir. I All do. Right. Jan? Yeah. Two. Your witness want to speak? You want her to speak? Yes, yes, sir. State your name. Jan Bliss. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell me about the change in the contract? So she, we, as myself, we, we had $45 a day, mm -hmm. and then it went up to 50 and then it was, we were going to go up to 60 and then 70 Went up to got... 50 within the same year? Yes. And did you agree to this? Did you do it? Yes. I always agreed to everything. Now she you want to accept the offer to amend it, ma'am. Your, uh, defamation, you defame, uh, your uh, defamation, did you defame and send any uh, materials out defaming his salon? No, I, I never said any statements that were untrue. have evidence of such I actually uh, have... defamation? Yes, sir. You never said right. what? I never said anything that was untrue. And because he was trying to steal my clients, he was telling them that we quit the industry altogether. Yes. And I have a recording for you. Okay. If you're from we'll one of my clients. you recording. Okay. Mm -hmm. I asked for you, and the guy was like, she no longer works here, but we have plenty of other stylists who are just as capable and just as talented as she is, and I would love to hook you up with one of them today. And I was like, oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Have a good day. And I hung up. I'm like, hold on. I'm not going to someone else. Is he crazy?
What did he do to you there? He, he's been trying to steal my clothes. No, that's not. They asked to have their hair done. By he me. said, you no longer work there. And as a matter of fact, when she left, she actually gave us no notice in any way, shape, or form of what was happening. So, so I'm looking... posting this as a warning to future professionals that may be considering going there. I am disgusted by the bad business ethics. They told clients that we've stopped doing hair altogether, lied, and then tried to take our clients mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we've had for years. I have seven stylists that will attest to this. Mm -hmm. You keep saying, mm-hmm, and that's, I didn't hear that. Well, that's not my interpretation, and my okay. interpretation matters. I know. Okay, glad you do. <laughs> You've characterized that wrong. You do make him look bad. And what is it you're going to show me? I'm going to show you actually a, um, a statement by a girl named Taryn that is a, a, a stylist there. She's um, still there? She is. Yes, sir. What is it going to say? Taryn's not there. No, Taryn is not there. I'm so Why sorry. Why did you say yes? I'm, I, I'm just yeah, flustered, I think. Yeah, you're just messing yourself up. Taryn is a part of her package deal group that she notates that left the same time. And they all left at the same time yes, because sir. of what? I only have rumors um, because they left in the middle of the night. They didn't give us any notice and they didn't tell us anything before they left. Do you know that to be the case, ma'am? They left in the middle of the night? We did not. It was during the working business hours. I have a text message showing 9.06 p.m. after business hours. She's stating, I've cleaned the station out. Let's see it. And she quits. Well, that was my official resignation, Your Honor. No, ma'am, you just said you didn't do it at all. I've caught you in too many uh, contradictions, No, 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 that's when I sent my... Yeah, 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 I have, ma'am. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff, and your claim is dismissed. You've lied too much. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff. Well, maybe they can buy a little bit of class now. Yeah. We just don't appreciate the slander that she's continuing to do. It's, it's just true. absolutely unfair and it's, it's true. really abusable to all businesses. You don't it's respect women. In any way, shape, you or are form. unprofessional. Just You're disgusting. You have no respect for women. That I'm glad this is over. Um, when your it's salon been shuts, shuts very down. ugly. And I don't think it's fair what Josie's doing. I'm trying to open your eyes to him being a con artist. Your salon will shut down because you've trusted him. He's lying to you. We really appreciate that the judge could see our side of the view and that the truth has come out.